Hello, Chewy in the Tiki Shop. Today, just trying to give a real quick rundown of uh, the robots for the Combots Cup 6. What went right and what went wrong. So let's take a look at half of the 30... the 30 pound robot, half of the 60 pound robot known as CR30W and Wedge. This was Wedge. Uh, this is the most basic again of robots. It's four Harbor Freight drill motors. Uh, one for each wheel, uh, 3.5 inch Colsons, a pair of Victor 883 speed controllers, and a Zippy Flight Max 500 milliamp hour 6S battery. Um, radio gear right now is a Hobby King 2.4 pistol radio and a GWS mixer, one of the only mixers we could find that fail safe correctly. Um, Wayachi switch. Uh, first time I've actually used one of those. They're very nice. Uh, highly recommend. Uh, I've also been really happy with the Zippies. The Zippies performed quite well. They're staying in pretty good balance, almost perfect balance. Uh, and performance to price, 50 bucks a battery. You can't beat that. Uh, over here we're charging it up with the IMAX B8, which I've also been very happy with. Uh, I do recommend that as well. Um, let's see, uh, the frame of the robot is made with one inch uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, and that held up beautifully to some big hits by uh, guillotine. Uh, you can see he put some nice scars in the wedge. Uh, the wedge is, was held on with six quarter inch bolts and it had this layer of uh, fairly soft foam rubber in there, but you can see these are the bolts. Uh, they're, they're not so, so straight anymore. Um, these are really twisty. These are just junk hardware store. Uh, oh, that one's nice and pretzel. These are at least graded and those are bent, but uh, still have to pull the wedge off. Uh, just two more bolts. Those are also bent. Um, as you can see, the, the wedge hinge pin, uh, that was the weak point in the fight. All of those bushings, uh, and they actually were sintered bushings, which was bad material choice, but those just basically shattered and the whole wedge came off. And uh, teammate Dale had to emergency field weld the wedge back on, and that's quite solid now. But um, the, the real weak point in this robot was the gearboxes. These are the uh, Harbor Freight. We started with the $15 ones. These are the uh, now discontinued slightly better ones uh, as used in Dr. Inferno Jr. But uh, in this arrangement, they just did not hold up. The uh, final, final stage output carrier kept shearing pins. And that was the downfall of this robot and its other 30 pound counterpart, CR30W which was running basically the same setup, same battery, same speed controllers, same motors, same wheel size, different frame. Uh, so yeah, all in all, uh, these motors did not seem to be up to the task. The bushings were a bad material choice. The white plastic was pretty good. The uh, stainless bumper guard right there you can see took some nice hits but never came off. Uh, that's pretty good choice too, but um, yeah, um, all in all, not a very successful combat robot, but I learned some stuff. Uh, then we'll take a look at Tirebot. And I don't think we've ever seen inside Tirebot before, so I'll spin it around. Uh, inside Tirebot is a surplus stature electric uh, Bruno wheelchair lift motor, and uh, that was surplus center. And that's made it to an 8-inch uh, NPC Colson knockoff. Um, they're running at 6S, about 20 volts, so I think we're getting 5 or 600 RPM. Something like that, 4 or 500. Uh, on 8-inch on wheels, I think it's a little bit too fast. I think the torque would be better served, but uh, this is pretty simple. There's a second set of wheels that's over on the lid some 5 inch Colson's in here and those just make contact with the top top of the tire and allows for it to run upside down. Uh, in terms of electronics 
it's running uh, another Hobby King 2.4 and uh, Vantech, the small Vantech, the RDFR 23. Uh, I think it's a little bit undersized for this job. I think these motors are a little bit hotter than uh, that control really wants, but uh, hasn't failed yet. I love the Vantech. Uh, I firmly believe it's one of the best controllers. Uh, nothing drives like a Vantech. It's uh, a thing of beauty. And this, I think, was the real reason that uh, I did so well in 2008. Because the curve on that allows me to drive very well. And the Victors, the Victors in there, just are not the same. Uh, yeah, so this was running on 6S as well. It was running uh, A123s, which got hot but never failed. They're great batteries, highly recommend. Uh, the same robot guillotine uh, did, a, did a number on the tire, trying to shred it. Uh, made it into the steel bands, but not through. Nothing ever got through the tire. Sidewall got ruptured a little bit there. But this is what took it out. Uh, there was an uh, aluminum reinforcement ring around the, the rim and uh, guillotine was able just to get in and bend that rim, lifting the wheels off the ground. So uh, match was over, robot was electrically and mechanically, motor-wise functional, but uh, just lifted the wheels off the ground. So uh, that, that pretty much is the rundown for, uh, let me try this again, there we go! Uh, that's pretty much the rundown with our uh, the two robots we have on site here still. Uh, CR30W has been, I don't know, taken to the cave and hung on a wall somewhere or something. So we'll probably not get a chance to see inside that. But uh, Tirebot, the wedge thingy, the ROV bot didn't really get a whole lot of play, but uh, that'll be a different video. Uh, Righto, uh, Chewie from the lab saying, uh, Tune in again for more robot hijinks. Oot!